pretty much anywhere north of the border uses some kind of ice melter to deal with their winter climate. Freezing rain, sleet, or hard packed snow, you name it, it causes all kinds of traction problems. Something as simple as opening your front door and walking to your garage can be treacherous. Those unexpected crash falls really hurt and everyone's done it at least once. The most common solution, other than shoveling and scraping, is to buy some good old rock salt and spread it everywhere you're walking. Porches, steps, sidewalks, driveways, anywhere you need to melt some ice and get better traction. Salt certainly is the most common product for these types of situations, but have you ever noticed that when you lay it down at anything below minus 20 Celsius, it really doesn't do a whole lot. It just kind of sits there. Yeah, it does give you good traction for your boots, but only if you lay down a really good layer of it. The worst part of it is when it's time to clean up in the spring. There's a white film on everything, and sometimes your concrete surfaces are spalled and etched where you've applied a lot of the stuff in the winter. Since we know for sure we need to use something to deal with the ice problem, we've been searching for a product that causes the ice to melt at a much colder temperature, a product we don't have to use as much of to get results, and one that does absolute minimal damage to our concrete, pavement, lawns, and decks. Environmental friendliness would be nice too, and how about if you only had to use a fraction of this ice melter instead of piles and piles of salt on top of one another after every single storm? We've discovered a product that does it all. It's called Jet Blue, manufactured by a company called Tilson Brands. It consists of a coating that's a blend of polyols, organic salts, and bioadditives coating non-organic chloride pellets. It tackles ice fast, and when it's laid down, it actually gets started melting faster in temperatures as low as minus 32 Celsius. Because of its super melting properties, you use much less of it. And when you use it properly, you're not gonna damage the surfaces that you're spreading it on. Good news, you bet it is. Okay, we've given you an overview on JetBlue and you know how we love it for de-icing around the home. Here's where we really like it though. We keep at least one container of JetBlue in our trucks all winter. Sure, we've got four wheel drive on most of our vehicles, but we use JetBlue Ice Melter for more than just preventing our trucks from getting stuck. During the winter months, we're trailering all over the country and we can never predict the kind of weather that we're gonna experience. Think about trying to load a snowmobile or ATV onto a sled deck in the middle of an ice or snowstorm. It can be a total nightmare. It always seems like you're losing traction at just the critical second when you need to get good bite to get you up the ramp and onto the truck. It's all about momentum. But what if you can't get enough momentum or are trying carefully to regulate your speed so that you don't fire your sled through the back window of your truck? Maybe you were already going too slow and then just ended up sitting there with the track spinning. These are real problems off-road riders face when loading sleds and ATVs in the winter. The makers of JetBlue Ice Melter really get it because they're off-roaders too. And the solution is pretty simple. All we do is go into the back seat of the truck, grab our five kilogram JetBlue shaker and sprinkle a patch about eight to 10 feet behind the ramp. We usually do this before we leave on our ride so it gives JetBlue plenty of time to work on the ice, depending on our outdoor temperature. And then when we come back from our ride, the unloading is much clearer of ice and packed snow. Sometimes when you leave on your ride, even though the pavement was fairly dry when you're parked, if it's snowing when you leave or the snow comes while you're away, it's a great idea just to sprinkle a little bit of JetBlue behind your loading ramp. Then when you get back, you can just shovel off the area and the ice or snow won't be stuck to the surface. JetBlue Ice Melter works so fast, you can even sprinkle it again a few minutes before you load up and it'll really make a big difference in grip. Now where you've parked your truck, you can always grab your five kilogram shaker and put a little JetBlue down in front of your tires. It really helps out after you've loaded up your truck and trailer and are looking to get back on the road. You can buy JetBlue Ice Melter at any Princess Auto store in Canada and at Fastenal Outlets, Site One Landscaping Supplies and CVS Pharmacies in the USA. It makes sense to buy both the five kilogram shaker, it only weighs 11 pounds, and a larger bag, say in the 10, 18, or 20 kilogram sizes. This way you can top up your shaker when it's empty and still have enough around the house for driveway and sidewalk duty all winter long. So here's what we've got. JetBlue melts at a lower temperature than rock salt. It begins acting much faster than salt because its coating dissolves quickly, letting JetBlue get activated fast. You don't need to use nearly as much of the product as you do salt. The five kilogram sprinkle container is lightweight and easy to store in your vehicle, and JetBlue won't make a mess of your property when the snow melts in the spring. It's also far less caustic than salt to the aluminum and steel on your truck and trailer. Not too shabby, right? This is a great product that every snowmobiler and off-roader should have in their truck or trailer this winter when hauling. It's not just giving you better grip, it's keeping you safer.